Welcome back, everybody, to a brand new episode of the Socially Unstable Podcast. As always, I am your co-host, Tyler, and with me in person today is my co-host, Kenzie. Hello. Um, this is very exciting because we get to do a second episode here. Um, and I think it's, you know, I don't think we're going to, like, drill into this today, really. We, we, sh- we should do another episode on this, in fact, um, because we've talked before about the idea of, like, micro-content and using one opportunity for creating content to help you create a lot more pieces of content around it. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's sort of one of those things that I think people people get flustered uh, with. But once if you're already there and you're running cameras and you're running microphones or you're taking pictures and you're all dressed up and good to go, mm-hmm. make more stuff. Yeah. Because it'll be so much easier to do it now and be able to use it later and plan ahead than it is to uh, have to get set up for the whole yeah, I mean, setting up is the hardest part. Like, I mean, it, it's not fun and it sucks, like, getting ready and getting it all there. But once you're there, it's easy to just kind of, like, whip it out. So, right. yeah. yeah, take advantage of the moment. It's like uh, it's like working out in a way. <laughs> that it's like uh, you can either go and work out everything uh-huh. real quick and get that done. <laughs> or you can, like, kind of give it 50% and you have to go all the time. Yeah. Um, it just, although at the same time I say that, but I, I prefer to do, like... Not 100%, but still work out every day. So I can't, I'm still kind of a hypocrite on that one, I guess. That's true. I mean, I feel like most people are... Do people really only do like one day workout and they just give it everything? I don't know. I don't know if you can do like <laughs> one day a week of working out and still like say that you work out. I'm sure you can. I'm sure there's a plan. But I mean, it's what it really is, is it's the same thing of people who um, try to get into working out who have not before and they mm-hmm. go too hard up front and they try to go every single day instead of establishing something they keep up with. Yeah. And then so, you're, you tap out. Right. So don't plan to sit down and make content every single day because that's going to overwhelm you. Instead, sit down and do it, do it in chunks and get it done yeah. and do a couple different things. You can use it a couple places and repurpose or work with a team who's going to help make that easier. I mean, that's exactly what our content sessions are, yeah. which is two days, two days, they're short days and that's it. Bye. That's a year of content. I mean, that's Bye. typically how we do that. So um, it's just good to keep that kind of stuff in mind. Um, but I think today, just to coincide with some other marketing team materials that we have going out around when this episode will drop, mm-hmm. um, we are, we're getting back to basics in a way. We're talking about some really essential things that I think a lot of businesses yeah. are still missing. Um, so if you've been listening to the po- this podcast, you'll recognize that the first step for anybody is content. Mm-hmm. You can do very little else without content. In fact, when people call me and they say, I want a new website or I want to improve my SEO or I want to improve whatever, their, my social media, they're skipping a step yeah. because you, we need to make do things you have first. have content to do that. <laughs> right, right. You know, the old standby doesn't work anymore. Making making graphics that don't feature you, make, using stock photos, it's all played out. It's all done. Yeah. Whiteboard videos, we trashed whiteboard videos <laughs> in a previous episode because mm-hmm. I hate them because it's, it's not actually you. It's like you yeah. trying to get around making a connection uh, and building a relationship with a potential client. Right. It's, it's like the easy way it. out and they know that. <laughs> they do know that. There's no commitment coming from you up front. Yeah. Um, we, uh, why are we always comparing uh, marketing to dating? It is. <laughs> I don't know. It, it just is. works. <laughs> yeah. If the first date is like, okay, I'm going to like have Uber Eats uh, bring you some McDonald's. <laughs> and then we'll go on date number two later. Like that's not that's, that's not actually not committing to something. Good first impression. No, it's like I'm going to go pick you up and take you to a nice restaurant. And we're gonna have a good time. That's what I did with you. Hey. So, <laughs> did we go to a restaurant? You, you need to clarify that that's now what you did with Kenzie. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. For the that's listeners, with Andrea. that's super awkward. <laughs> Andrea's in the room. I was not pointing at Kenzie. Yeah, that was beyond. That my was camera. pointing to Andrea. <laughs> They'll see the video version probably. Okay. You can come make an appearance if you want. Yeah, <laughs> you, don't, you can. Um, you can. <laughs> but that's the thing. That's the thing is putting putting in the offer up front. So first is content, but we're not going to talk about that step today because I'm just going to assume you all already know it. Make the content. Now we can start looking at all these different things you can improve. Mm-hmm. And I think that a lot of businesses have not yet taken the time to even see where they stand online. Uh, yeah, do like an it. audit. You need to do an audit of all of your social presence like across the board. Right. And then that helps you know where you need to go, what you need to improve, what's working, what's not. We talk about that a lot too, like actually analyzing yourself. Right. So some of the things that I think maybe that's the episode today. Yeah. What does the audit look like? Yeah. So first thing is first, you're going to start with, well, it doesn't actually matter in what order you do this, <laughs> but you're going to start platform by platform. So yeah. why don't we go through that? So um, Google business. I see still too many businesses Mm. who have an incorrect address 
have not claimed their Google business listing. Oh, yeah. Don't bother managing the reviews. The pictures are old. Oh, if any. If there are any. Mm-hmm. The phone number's old and wrong. The website is all spammed out and goes to the wrong place. There's <laughs> yeah. incorrect hours. You yeah. need to get your Google business right. Um, mm-hmm. This is like, this is, I mean, it's it's kind of obvious because no matter what work we can do in terms of content, there's a good chance someone, and again, I always push for, I want someone to Google your name, not mm-hmm. your service. Mm-hmm. So let's say we've gotten all that done. They know you, they've got that connection, they've built that relationship because of content. So the next thing they're going to do is they're going to like try to reach out to you, which they're going to mm-hmm. try to get to your website or they're going to try to get your phone number. And frankly, they're still probably going to go through Google because oh. people don't remember URLs. They're going to go through Google. They're going to go through Google. They're going to type your name into Google, which mm-hmm. is, that's fine. That's exactly what we want. Right. It's going to lead them to you, but we need that information to be right. Mm-hmm. We need to be right every time right there. So get on Google business and claim your listing, everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, Fill it out. Super simple. Fill yeah. it out. Mm-hmm. Add some of those. You've already made the great content. Mm-hmm. Now you have great photos to put on your Google presence. You're going to be able to push your logo. You're going to be able to put a picture of your building and your spaces and your what, whatever it is, yeah. whatever services you offer. So that is a big one for me um, because an incorrect Google can be like the broken link in this great chain we're building oh, of yeah. how people can connect with you. Yeah. Um, that, can be, that can be a game ender. I agree. You can look super legit on Facebook and Instagram and your website and then someone goes to actually act on it and grab that phone number and they just Google it real quick on their phone and they find the wrong info. Yeah. Or just like, yeah, if you don't want to look like kind of sketchy, like I feel like if I go to Google and you don't have that information filled out, I'm like, "Mm, Mm -hmm. are they legit? I don't know. This is also different sometimes for digital businesses because I can't say, I don't think marketing tees Google business looks the same. It's right. It's a totally, honestly, it just exists because it helps our websites SEO um, because people aren't going there. So there's nowhere to go. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. (laughs) But for your brick and mortar, Mm -hmm. you got to have it. And Mm -hmm. that's a lot of people that we work with within health and wellness and fitness and any of that. That's going to matter a lot. Um, Next up, socials. Why don't you tell us about what it looks like when you have a terrible Facebook page? Okay, so... There are many ways to have a terrible Facebook page, (laughs) but um, most of the time, obviously, that's going to start with your pictures, so you want to make sure you have a strong profile image, and that's going to look different from business to business, like what you're trying to achieve there. Like If your brand is yourself, then a picture of yourself is probably the best image to have there because that's the first thing they're going to see, and they're going to realize, oh, that's Tyler or whoever I'm looking for, but if it is more of an actual like business then your logo is probably the next thing like if your face isn't the main thing they're looking for they're going to remember your logo so making your logo your profile image is very strong and uh, a lot of times you can see some really random things in profile images or they're not even the best quality and so again another thing you want to make sure you have a really good quality image because if you have a pixelated picture people will think that you're not quite as legit either Um, and then always making sure you go to your cover photo and have something great there too. And there's so many options. Like there's no one right way to do that. Using a video, having um, a really just beautiful picture or something that like a special that's going on, maybe that you're trying to promote. Like there's ways to do it, but just making sure it like looks professional and continues out to like reinforce your name or whatever it is you, you are as a brand. Video and, can be a really good thing there too. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I think, love the video there. Uh, yeah, when when we tie in a client's like promo video into their top Perfect. piece there, like someone doesn't even have to scroll; they can just get immediately sucked into seeing exactly what you're about. So yeah. love video there. Yeah, I usually try to do that. Video is great. Um, and then the our story section on Facebook, a lot of people miss that, but that's another opportunity to put another great image and more information about you because the about section in your Facebook uh, section there, it's like tiny. You can put maybe a hundred words. People really just need that short, sweet thing. But in the R story, you can fill out more. Like, do you want to list off your services? Do you have something really unique about your story that you want to like describe there? Like, don't sleep on that section. You need to definitely be filling that out. And then uh, from there, it's just going down and making sure you have your services filled in, your hours filled in, linking your profiles, your website. You want people to be able to easily maneuver from one place to the next. And so having everything linked there is key. Right. 
Um, the other thing I think about Facebook is shared content. Mm. Um, so if I go to someone's Facebook page and I'm trying to learn about them, yeah. but all they're posting every single day is like an article or a video from some Someone other else. account, I don't have a chance to actually learn about you. Right. And if you are crowding your feed with that stuff, I'm not going to be that patient as I continue to scroll. Like I'm not, I'm going to see like two or three of those and I'm like, I'm out. Right. So you need to make sure that on Facebook, the plan is original content is number one. Mm -hmm. It's like, I mean, the split is different for everybody, but usually it's like 90-10. Yeah. Like if that, it, I mean, a lot of marketing tea clients, it is pure their content. Yes. It's just, there's no need to mess around with anything else. So that is huge. Um, that's, those are the big no-nos with Facebook, I feel like. Yeah. Um, and then obviously just making sure you filled it out correctly. Is it the yeah. right website? Is it the right email address? Do you have a call to action button? Like, mm -hmm. that's it. That's it. Real yeah. basic stuff. Um, Instagram is nearly the same thing. Mm -hmm. I think the other thing for Instagram is that you need to be careful with your bio. Your bio needs to be real short and sweet mm -hmm. and, and have no confusion about what it is that you do or where people yeah. can learn more. It's like very basic, like we do this, this, and this. Yep, exactly. You've got a couple lines. You can go check out any of the ones that we do. You can check out Her Time. You can check out Marketing Tea. You can check out uh, Wild Hickson's, mm -hmm. any of those. So all real clear exactly what we're all about. Um Something I do think is yeah. important with um, the Instagram part is if your name is something recognizable, uh, but it's not your actual handle, then adding that into your bio will still show up in the search results. Whenever they search your name, they'll still find your profile that way. So it's another great way to still make sure people are finding you if your handle isn't something that you wanted it to necessarily be. Right. Exactly. Although work on that too. Yeah. Also like, work Let's on get that. a handle that makes sense, people. Yeah. 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 Um, and then I think that the the last major component, and we're talking we're talking basics here. We're talking yeah. like we're trying to revive you from the dead, and just like <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing online. That's fine. Then just do these couple things. Mm -hmm. Website is going to be the last one. Yes. And there are a lot of options when it comes to websites. I don't think that there is an excuse to have a crappy old website anymore. There's just not. Oh, there's not. There's just not. With all the options and ways to yes. go about it. Yes. No. Even <laughs> if you cannot handled you're not ready for or can't afford to do a real nice custom wordpress website like we usually build you there are other services out there you can find wix and squarespace as much mm -hmm. as i hate to recommend those they're still better than whatever right. your friends sisters <laughs> uh brother-in-law who came to your business once built for you 10 years ago it's just not enough to, yeah. to do that anymore um so you need to have like a sharp website again 90 percent of why a website looks good is because it's legit photos it's mm -hmm. good photos pictures it comes from the content and it content all the way down yeah. all the way down the line um there are, I really, I don't think I can give like the Specific. specifics of like everything you should do with a website. And the truth is it's different for every single type of business, but mm -hmm. there's real basics to a website. Like this is who we are. Not long. Not <laughs> this, long. <laughs> these are the services we offer. Not long. <laughs> um, maybe you need an about section. That's fine. Maybe you uh, have a, a schedule. Maybe you do classes. Maybe you um, have paperwork, whatever, but end of the day, there should be a real clear process for what someone is supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And usually that's just going to be a contact form on a website. Exactly. You want them to talk to you. You want to help them like really that way you're the one selling. You don't want your website to just have all this information and they don't have a reason to reach out to you because mm -hmm. then you might not be able to make that sell or whatever it is. So right. yeah. Have and it. mobile. Yeah. Mobile. Like 60% of traffic that we're seeing on most of the sites we do, and that's just from personal example. Mm -hmm. Like when I go and look at the stats of, of what where people are coming from on the websites we've built in our time, it's like 60% or more mobile. Yeah. So if your mobile site is not working or doesn't show people what they need to, to see or they can't use it all that easily, you need to fix that ASAP mm -hmm. because that's where website traffic is coming to. Again, that could be you've done everything great with content on your social media, then someone's going to Google your name just like we want them to, mm -hmm. then they're going to just like tap the website maybe because they want to go like yeah. you fill out a contact form that's how they want to reach out to you fine but if they get to that website and it's not loading a mobile version mm -mm. you've created another break in this in this perfect chain of, of yeah. events get a mobile site just do it <laughs> get a mobile site i need to stop looking at andrea <laughs> it's awkward for anybody listening this is like <laughs> such a weird episode <laughs> um but again that's all of those things are really how you show people who are coming to your business that you mm. care that they are there to learn about you. Um, you 
you care to build a legitimate relationship with them as a client and you're going to make it easy. Exactly. I would say easy. That was like what I was waiting for. Like you need to make it easy for them. Like you need them. Yes. So make it easy. You need to be easy to love. <laughs> That's it. You need to make back it Back to easy. dating. It is back to dating. It's all dating. The world is dating and you can't convince me otherwise because you need to be easy to love and you need to, you need to make it clear how someone can love you. Um, and they can, they can, you know, exactly what you want from them which is to call call this number and then make sure someone's answering that number because again that's another thing i oh, see oh yeah yeah again there's no excuse for that <laughs> like like there are services out there call rail is a really good one we use that here google phone i think is doing or is it google phone or google voice or what is what is voice that? it might be google voice i might be a little confused but one of those like google has another mm-hmm. call forwarding service like it's all happening through the internet you can create tracking numbers people can call that number you can have a phone tree of people who answer the phone so there's just no excuse to not have a, a good uh phone number and then this is well beyond our purview because i don't help people with this part ever but if they asked i would if you have a terrible answering system yeah. at your business if, if when someone hits that answering machine, it is not an inviting thing or they don't understand what they're supposed to do next, uh-huh. you've messed up. They're done, yeah. You've messed up. If it's a robot voice telling you like oh. press one for, it's not, <laughs> no one's going to go through that process. No. Um, but these are some of the basics that I think people are like, why am I not bringing in the conversions I want to see? You got to look at that, at that whole chain and you got to mm-hmm. make sure nothing's broken on the way. Exactly. Back to auditing yourself. <laughs> Audit yourself. Did I? Do we miss anything that are like the major slip ups? Because I, I just it's crazy that I feel like I still I'm still seeing this. But it's they're <laughs> obvious to us because we work in it every yeah, day. I get that. We, I get that. I'm it. not judging anybody. <laughs> but now that you've heard this, you definitely now don't have an excuse right. for those things. Now not to be. we'll we will judge you. Yeah. Now we will judge. You. <laughs> we'll judge you hard. Um, that, I mean, those are the those, those, are, the, the those are the basics. Yeah. If you have a different platform you you want to be on, like you want to have a presence on YouTube or Pinterest, mm-hmm. same rules apply as mm-hmm. Facebook and Instagram. It's just we talk a lot about Facebook and Instagram. Exactly, and I, I guess the only like other basic thing across any of those social media platforms is like making sure you have the right f- sizing and formats too between each platform. Everyone is different. YouTube is different from Facebook, different from Twitter, different from Pinterest. So just making sure. Those are all streamlined for each specific place. Right. This is where if you don't have the time to do this, it is okay. Yeah. You, there are professionals out there who can help you. We are one of them. But when you start calling and asking what someone can do to help you with these things, Mm -hmm. if their first question is not, well, what content are we going to use? then they're not going to be the right fit. They're not going to help you to be able to do this. No. Because they will build you something generic Mm -hmm. made of stock photos made of custom looking graphics that are really just your logo's colors mm-hmm. um it's it's not going to actually be you yeah. so the first question out of any marketer's mouth need, needs to be what content are we going to do and the funny thing is when we do a content session as marketing tea the second we're done with that content session we have everything we need oh yeah all of those things are now off your plate because we can go through and make all everything. of those things beautiful yeah. immediately mm-hmm. immediately that's what we do it's going to look awesome. <laughs> um, Simple as that. Is this, was this a short episode? No, we did good. We did pretty good. Um, I guess this is this is it from Baton Rouge. So the next time you hear an episode, uh, we will be back on the road, sadly, and phoning in for this episode. <laughs> but we will not phone it in. It's going to be a good episode. <laughs> I can't have Andrew in. I just want to make her laugh. <laughs> <laughs> So stay tuned, as always, for the Socially Unstable podcast. Thank you very much for joining us. And as always, we will see you on the next episode.